Hey, Big M drivers, welcome back to Big M Talk. Again, I'm Ed Terwilliger, General Manager of Fleet Operations, and today I'm here with Justin Cook, one of our fleet managers. Uh, Justin's been with us for about two years now, and uh, in fact, still got some of the original drivers that he started with. So really appreciate the job that you're doing for us here, Justin, and uh, I know the drivers do as well. Uh, Ever so often we talked about we like to highlight certain drivers for things that they do well that really help us out operational. Uh, one of the concerns that we've heard from drivers that, you know, they sometimes roll up on trailers that have previous damage or things that weren't taken care of that maybe should have. Uh, but today, the driver we're talking about is is who? Micah Mueller. Micah Mueller. And Micah's been with us for how long? Uh, since February. Since February. Okay. And uh, tell me a little bit about the situation that happened here just a few days ago. Oh, he picked up a trailer and the airlines were dragging. He couldn't legally pull it. A Pulled into love to see if they could do anything. They couldn't do anything. So he bought some some uh, zip ties and zip tied it up enough so it would be legal to pull. And then uh, there were some other things that happened to it. So when he got to a place where he could stop, he tagged the trailer, called the shop, and had them come out and fix it that way. And he put a big sign on the front of it so no driver would know to hook to it because it was already damaged Cut. to help out the next guy. Oh, that's awesome. And so here's a situation where, just break that down. Uh, you know, driver rolls up on a trailer. It's got some prior damage to it that wasn't reported, uh, which unfortunately a lot of you guys see. And I used to drive. I saw it too when I was driving. Uh, he gets what fixed what he can, but then when it's time for him to drop it, rather than leaving it like way for the next man, calls the shop, reports it, puts a sign on the trailer so nobody mistakenly grabs it. Yes, sir. Just to cover all bases to make sure that trailer gets fixed so the next driver can just keep rolling. Yes, sir. And so, you know, that's the kind of coverage that we're looking for. We want to make sure that we take care of the equipment that we have, and we want our drivers looking out for the next man or the next lady. And so uh, situations like that are definitely uh, appreciated and uh, noteworthy. And I know a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you ladies out there, you take care of our equipment. You do a great job. And this is not, we're not singling out Micah because nobody else does it. It's just one that happened here recently, and we just wanted to make note of it. Yes, sir. Um, and so, as far as Mike is concerned, I mean, how would you classify him as far as one of your drivers? Oh, he's he's a great driver. He uh, does anything I ask of him. He's never turned down a load. And he even helped me get another driver home for home time that kind of our plan fell through. Oh, so, well, I was willing to, he was willing to swap with me to help get him home. Oh, that's fantastic. So, yes, sir. So, he swapped loads around, took another load. That driver was able to get home. Yes, sir. Man, he had a fishing trip planned, and the, and the load fell through. And he wasn't going to be able to make it, but... Mike could just have been at the same place and we swapped with him so he could get his empty so he could go home. Man, it's not having to sit. <laughs> Sounds like a great driver. I'm glad he's on our big M team and part of the family here. So, uh, Justin, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, uh, Appreciate what you do. Uh, Micah, next time you're coming through the yard, Justin, get you here. Stop in. We want to put something in your hands to show how much we appreciate you. And uh, rest you drivers out there, continue doing what you do, bumping those docks, driving safe, being on time. Uh, and watch out for any kind of maintenance issues, any repair concerns or anything. Make sure we're talking to your fleet manager, talking to the shop. Let's get those taken care of so that the next driver doesn't have to roll up on something that could have been prevented. Uh, so appreciate what you guys are doing. And uh, you want to do roll on on three? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Roll, roll on. on.